So the title for the study is Sugar Came by Your Refinery, Optimization Scheme, Economy, and Environmental Impact. This is a brief uh, introduction, opportunities, case study, mathematical model is a proposal, the results and conclusion. That's the content of the presentation. For the beginning, I want to explain that's the sugar industry for Colombia. The sugar cane is the most important crop, it's the one of the most important crop in Colombia. We have around 250,000 hectares of sugar cane. This is the Colombian map, and the sugar industry is located just in the southwestern of our country, close to the Pacific Ocean, in the region called Valle del Cauca. Okay? And the sugar industry is a big cluster. We have the two sugar mills and six ethanol plants. Ethanol from sugar cane. One paper company, paper made from bagasse, the sugar cane. One superchemical company, 12 electric power cogeneration plants, eight wine and spirit company, and a research institute called Senecan. So the sugar cane is very important industry for our country. This is the typical cane sugar factory. We have five process, a steam generation, power generation, sugar process, ethanol process, composting plant. The fixture just in the middle, you'll see the boiler and the power plant. This is the boiler and this is the chimney, okay? On your left, you'll see the sugar factory. Down is the ethanol plant, the distillery. And up, we have the compost plant for waste treatment. So this is the typical sugar factory in Colombia and in the world industry, okay? We have five processes common in the sugar industry. In this slide, you can see the blow diagram of the actual process for sugar, ethanol, and bioenergy. This is the typical chain sugar factory blow diagram. So we have two pro three products, ethanol, sugar, bioenergy, and only one raw material, the sugar cane. This is the typical cane sugar factory. But the sugar industry has a big opportunity. Why? As you can see, this is the sugar cane plant. In it starts, it contains around 65 to 70 percent of water, a two fourteen percent of fiber, and 10 to 17 percent of sucrose. Sucrose and cellulose in the fiber are made with carbon. So the sugar cane is a carbon source. That's the important opportunity that we have in the sugar industry. We can make many products with a carbon. That's the reason because we are talking about the sugar cane biorefineries. If we have a biorefinery, biorefinery from sugar cane, we can make many products. For example, biopolymers like a polyhydroxy alkanoate, 
biochemicals like succinic acid or lactic acid, biofuel, and bioenergy. The biopolymers and biochemicals create value. So its price in the markets is higher compared to the sugar price. Then it's a big opportunity to increase the portfolio products and increase the profile the business. But we have many questions. Yes, it's a big opportunity to increase the portfolio, but we solve many questions. For example, what are the products to be produced and how much? Produce more sugar, more ethanol, take a part of sucrose to produce other substances or more sugar. Sell electrical energy by burning by gas or using cellulose to make other products? It's a big question. What about the environmental impact? What about the company's profile? So we have many questions to resolve. And with this uh, introduce, I want to present the case of study. For the current products of the typical sugar factories, we have four products, sugar, ethanol, electricity, by gas for sale to paper industry. And I proposed a case study with two more products, sugar, ethanol, electricity, by gas for sale, but bioplastic, especially polyhydroxybutyrate and ethanol for second generation from a gas. So this is a kind of biorefinery with the same questions. What are the products? How much sugar? How much ethanol? How much PHB? How much energy? How much gas? What about the environmental impact? What about the companies provide? For polyhydroxybutyrate, it can be made from sugar cane. For example, with a microorganism, Ralstonia tropa is a kind of bacteria. We can transform glucose from the sugar cane to PHB. PHB is a plastic. In the picture, you can see how the bacteria produce inside the membrane the bioplastic. And then we extract the bioplastic and cell. Why is important the PHP? It's important because it has similar property to polyethylene. So you can replace the polyethylene from petroleum, petroleum for example, and use a renewable source. This is the flow di diagram for PHB production. We have a conventional fermentation extraction process, separation, centrifugation, dry, and packing. This is the process that we study of this case. And for ethanol, for sugar cane, called ethanol of second generation, is other product that we can make from bagasse. The bagasse contain around 43% of cellulose, 26% of 
of any cellulose and both can be transformed by enzymatic or acid process to glucose. And by conventional fermentation, we can transform glucose to ethanol by yeast, for example, success cereal. Here we have the flow diagram for ethanol from sugar cane gas. The first step is a cooking process, steam explosion. After that, we have some steeper separation. And finally, we have glucose to conventional fermentation that we uh, transport to ethanol. So for the case study, we are making a biorefinery for sugar cane with four products, sugar, ethanol, ethanol from molasses to sugar cane and ethanol from bagasse, bioplastic, PHB, and electricity. And you can see all the process are connected. So it's a big problem to simulate this process because all lines are connected. For example, you need a steam for heating the purification and evaporation process, hydraulic gas, crystallization, ethanol, and PAB process. And the same case with the electricity. We need power to move all the equipment in the sugar factory. So we have to simulate this process to resolve our question, how much to produce more sugar, more oil, how much bioplastic, how much electricity, how much bagasse. These are the activities to resolve, to resolve our problem. Process design, especially PHB and second generation ethanol, mass and energy, energy balance, market study, sales present and market size of the PHB, inventory of the environmental impacts, programming language, I use ample program, simulation, I recommend to use Minto from Georgia Tech Institute. It's a viable online. It's an advantage. So here we have the multi-objective optimization mathematical model for our proposal. We have two objectives. The one is maximize the gross margin the profit of the business. And the other one is minimize the environmental impact. We have more money, but we don't have more environmental impact. So we have two objects. So we can transform two objectives in one function. Maximize growth margin. Okay, this is the main objective. You can also use an environmental impact function like a main objective, but in this case, I use maximize gross margin. Uh, we have some concerns, but we have we introduce a new concern. The new concern is the environmental impact. So this is the multi-objective optimization 
mathematical model proposed for resolve the optimization process in a biorefinery from sugar cane. How can we maximize the gross margin? Okay, we have the formula for the objective, and we have three terms. The first is a probability, probability of each X scenario. For example, we can configure three X scenarios, optimistic, pessimistic, and average X scenario. If you have a good price for the sugar, you can use a probability of optimistic X scenario, for example. The second term is the income of the business. How many money we can win with the biorefinery? So we have the sugar price. For example, if the index is one, one is sugar. Sugar price in per kilogram multiplied by sugar production in kilograms. This is the money for the business. And here we have the production cost for each process. Sugar production cost, for example, if the index is one, sugar production cost in dollars per kilogram, and the sugar production in kilograms. So we have the money for the sugar business, the sugar factory business, and here we have the sugar production. That is the gross margin of the business. For environmental impact, I use the methodology for Institute of Chemical Engineers. Yeah, we have the formula to calculate the environmental charge for each process to each category. We have nine categories of environmental impact, like atmospheric acidification, global warming, human health, etc. So we can calculate the environmental impact of each process, sugar process, ethanol process, energy process, PHP process, and ethanol crunch begets with this formula. At the end, this is the model. This is the objective function, maximize gross margin. And here we have the constraints. The main constraint is the environmental impact for each process. And also we have other constraints. For example, process capacity, capacity for sugar production, capacity for production, capacity for energy production. We have the mass balance. Here's a summary of the mass. And we have the energy balance. So that's the model that we have at the end of the old work. This model is necessary to program in a language. I use Ample. And after that, we have many simulator. I use uh, Minto available online for resolve this uh, model. And what are the answers? What are the products to be produced and how much? 
with this model, we can calculate. There are 280,000 tons per year ethanol, 21 million liters per year plastic, 29,000 tons per year energy, 98,000 megawatts hour per year, and by gas for sale to the paper industry, 230,000 tons per year. So now we know how much produce we can make if we have increased the gross margin of the business. What about the company's What about the money? In this picture, we have the comparison between the scenario and the study case. This is the money for the business. In the current case, the gross margin is around $40 million. But if we want to introduce a PhD process, ethanol from second generation, we can increase the gross margin up to $70 million. This is a good conclusion for the business. It's an opportunity to save money. Okay. What about the environmental impact? We want more money. But we don't do not increase the environmental impact. Here we have the result of our simulation for different categories of environmental impact. As you can see, the main environmental impact for this biorefinery is the global warming. Because of the ethanol fermentation and pH I think he's he's having connection problems. Excuse me. I I I heard some I heard something. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. So we can make more money, but we need to control the carbon dioxide emission in the ethanol process and PHB, the bioplastic process. Finally, the conclusion of this work, the proposed model contributes to evaluation of project for arcane biorefineries. It can be considered as a tool, yes, so it's a tool for making decisions in the search to expand the product portfolio for the sugar industry. The environmental impact was evaluated considerably as controllable in the process. But I recommend their entire entire life cycle. It is recommended to evaluate the multi-objective optimization model with acid hydrolysis technology. I use enzymatic hydrolysis for ethanol production from baguettes. Okay, and okay. that's all. Thanks okay. for your time. So thank you for the presentation. Now we will move into questions. Perfect. 
Uh, so the question, okay. the first question is, do biorefineries represent a higher quantity of jobs? If so, what are the main professions that are searched the most in this field? The second one? What are the, the main group? professions that are searched the most in the field of biorefinery? Okay, very good. The first question, uh, for the sugar, for example, I work for uh, Ingenio Providencia is one of the 13 sugar mills in Colombia, uh, we generate around 2,000 employees. So the biorefinery are an opportunity to make more employees for Colombian industry. Uh, about the profession, okay, Diana? The second is about the profession to these biorefineries? Yes. Repeat the question, please. Okay, okay. I think, I think the biochemical engineering, microbiology, uh, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering are the most important uh, profession to, uh, to work in these uh, biorefineries. Why? Here we have two professions. Uh, the engineering and the biotechnology profession. So, if we want to introduce more biotechnology at the sugar industry, we have to, we have, we need more uh, biotechnology profession. Okay. Okay, thank you. Next question is, have you considered other softwares for the modulation like MATLAB or even AMPL software? Okay, I use uh, ample languages for programming the model, and I use the Minto, I use Minto software because of the these software is available online, and we need to simulate more than 100 cases. So it's very easy to simulate online. But you can also use other programs, other software. But uh, I recommend, especially this software, because it's easier to run online. And the answer for this software, each simulation can around uh, 20 seconds see, for this model, for example. You can, one simulation in 20 seconds with this software. So it's easier to use, easier to program, and easier to run online. Okay, next question is, is steam generation from bagasse more efficient and environmental friendly than from other fumes? Oh no, unfortunately the answer is no. Why? Let me show you. Are you seeing the presentation again? Yes. Okay, this is the diagram from for ethanol from sugar cane bagasse. Here we have a step with, with a lot of steam using because we have to increase the temperature up to 200, 200 degrees Celsius. So we have 
a lot of energy to produce ethanol for, from sugar cane with actual technology. So we have to uh, investigate to develop other technology with less steam consumption and energy consumption. So for this case, it's better produce ethanol from molasses, for example, from sugar, from glucose, than use baguettes. This is a, a, a big conclusion of this study. We have more energy, especially in this step, increase the temperature for cooking baguettes up to 200 degrees Celsius. Okay, thank you. Next question is, do you think that biorefineries should only take advantage of sugar cane or is there a more environmentally friendly crop from which several added value products can be obtained? Okay, I think for uh, sugar biorefinery, uh, we can transform the factory in five or ten years, okay? Because we have uh, uh, the most of important steps of the factory, for example, steam generation, electricity generation, we have the, the, the fuel, is the bagasse. So we have many advantages. But the biorefineries, bio uh, we can study in other industries. For example, the oil industries is, is an opportunity. And when we have a uh, Raw material, especially a raw material with a carbon like the main substance, we can make a lot of products. So we can to search the raw material with, with this condition, a raw material rich in a carbon. And we have to develop uh, many parts of this uh, raw material. Okay, um, next question is, uh, are the products generated in biorefineries different from bioethanol not economically viable? Oh, excuse me. Repeat the question, please. Are the products generated in biofuels? Can you hear you? Can you hear me? Excuse me. No, no, no. Please. Now, can you hear question. me? Yes, yes. Okay. Are the products generated in biorefineries different from bioethanol not economically viable? Again, please. Are the products generated in biorefineries different from bioethanol, not economically viable? Yes, yes. For example, we have two substances for the interest nowadays, succinic acid and lactic acid. And other uh, compounds like uh, butanol, okay? So yes, the ethanol is, uh, is, is the main product for the sugar cane uh, after the sugar, but we can make other products with a good price in the market, like uh, acids, for example, succinic acid and lactic. 
Okay, thank you. Next question is, what type of reactors did you consider in the simulation? What kind of the? What type of reactors did you consider in the simulation? What type of reactors? Yes. Okay. Well, for the simulation, I configured three scenarios, optimistic, average, and pessimistic of scenario. So, uh, I introduced a simulation for the sugar price market, PHB market, and ethanol market. This is for gross margin objective. For the environmental impact, I look only inside the factory, inside the each process. For example, I have an inventory for sugar process, but in the sugar factory, but we need to adapt other substances to make sugar. For example, uh, phosphoric acid, a line, floculant, etc. I do not consider what happened outside of the shoe. That's the reason that I recommend for the future to introduce the life cycle assessment. Okay. Okay. And the last question is, which processes in the case study contribute most to the environmental impact? Which, which process in the study mm -hmm. produce the... Uh -huh, contribute most to contribute? the environmental impact. Okay. We have two processes with the main the one is the ethanol from sugar cane by gas for the steam and electricity consumption. So we have put a lot of gas of the boilers to generate the energy necessary for the cooking the bagas. So for the global warming, we have a, a, a problem with this step. And for the PHB, like uh, ethanol fermentation, and here we have a, a, a carbon diode diodes carbon dioxide to enable again the global warming is the most uh, important uh, environmental impact of this uh, study so we have an opportunity to uh, study to look or uh, other search to use the carbon dioxide, for example, produced in the PHB fermentation and for the ethanol fermentation in order to reduce the global warming impact. 